There we go, welcome to my tutorial on how I made border radius uh, JavaScript file for blocks. Uh, it's basically an extension on the new API format 0 0.5. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna basically what I'm gonna do is gonna open this up with brackets, which is my default favorite code editor. In fact, uh, let's make this a bit bigger. Uh, there's not really a lot here. In fact, it's quite quite straightforward code to be honest. Uh, make this okay, so I've made this like bigger now, so you can see it more easily. Uh, here we go. So basically, what you wanna do is is the way I've made this is because it's an image style it's gonna whenever I place an image it's gonna come under the image styles I've got a list of them uh, if I just display the styles you've got here uh, you've got uh, well the the API the API issue uh, let's go under API 0 0.5 should be under here somewhere there we go we're going to do announcements there are blocks 0 0.5 here we go as you can see, you've got add button style, so you can add style which comes under the button, if style and button or button style. Then you've got the image style, which we're using today, text style. So you can quite have anything there, background style. And then the block sets, they do kind of half work, uh, but they're not the best for actual working, so that's a bit annoying. So you see my mouse has disconnected for no reason. I, I give it a little drop, but come on, it still should be connecting. Oh, and it appears. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, so we're back. And uh, so what you can do here is I'm just going to run through the idea. So blocked options, they don't really work that well currently, so better off just leaving those. Uh, so you're going to start blank JavaScript file, uh, which is we've got to our left here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to give it, so button style, you don't want to give it a title. So in here, you see I've done maximum border radius uh, as possible. And so that's my title. And then you put a comma like I've done here. And then you want to do another one. And that's what you want to call the class. You can have up to like up to ten new button stars and ten new image stars all in one extension. So up to ten. Uh, I've only used one, so it's good to put like uh, call them different things. So I call it border edge. And then pretty much you just put your standard CSS like it looks here. Uh, well, I've put border edge. Now I've done the open bracket like it is in CSS. So I've also put a dot before the border edge. Now I've done open brackets. You can see it closes there. Now I've done border radius dot dot one hundred pixels. Uh, and then I've done a semicolon that I've closed the brackets, closed the uh, the like uh, commas, and I've then closed the HTML, the JavaScript extension, I've then told it to go to the next line down. And basically, that's what you want to do is you can copy this if you want. Uh, I'll leave a link to the download uh, downloaded BEX in the description where you can go and download it from. Um, so yeah, that's also pretty cool. You'll probably see it on the uh, you'll probably see it on the blocks uh, forum if you're watching this video now. Actually, I'll probably release it tonight, uh, and then this will be released the day after if you want to know how to edit it and all that. And uh, yeah, I also want to show you guys a little sneak peek of what where when you install the block application where it actually goes. So if you want to go into your Macintosh HD, uh, you then want to go on users. No, yeah, cl uh, click on your name. Go on library. You want to right click, open a new tab. I want to go on application support. Then want to find blocks, then stars, and then I've got no stars in here at the moment. But what we'll do is we'll minimize this. We're going to install our new border radius. Into also, what I forgot is what you want to do is go on file, on the block extension, go on this file border radius. They want to just give it the .js tag. So you want to call it whatever you want. Then just give it a .js file. This will be the name that appears in the like forms and stuff. So we want to give it a got js that basically says it's a javascript file and the system recognizes it's a javascript file i'm not going to do it because i've already done it and that's why i've got uh here i've got border so what we're going to do open up you know on a window dev tools compile extension and then when you want a desktop find your border i've already got it so i'm not going to do it but that'll basically just make that for you uh you don't want to go on file you want to go back to your thing and double click what it does border race has been successfully installed uh, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna demonstrate its purpose. If you didn't watch the last video, so here's you go. Here's a little border thing. I'm gonna go on style now. Then you see it here at the bottom with the little extension thing next to it. So you know, just has a little bit of cool function. Is it if you like didn't think that like to give it a decent effect? But there you go. So you see, you've got frame, you've got rounded, you've got small and large. There you've got super large, as I call it. This is the maximum allowed you're allowed to make it. So I might release a range of these. I'll see. To fit kind of in between if you want a kind of in between one but you can also make your own quite simple to make as well and i'm also going to show you now where they go so oh there's my mouse has disconnected again go back and what i'm going to go is go into styles and you see 
this is where the porteres.js file actually goes so if you install it and then realize oh i want to edit it you can see we've just gone open with and then brackets again and that'll open it up again in a brand new file so and then you can just edit it. this is what basically blocks converts it into it literally just changes the file format it doesn't do anything really that's why it's really quick at doing it and then you can basically change it without having to reinstall it or meddle, uh, mess with the source file again that's where they go they go in as i showed you earlier and that's basically all it for the blocks kind of extensions how i made uh the border radius extension and thanks guys for watching i'll leave a link to both of these files uh in the description below and i'll see you guys in another video bye bye